Hello everybody, Lori Wallach here from Rethink Trade. I want to talk briefly about the UAW strike. For folks who haven't followed labor history, the United Auto Workers are part of the reason we have a damn middle class in this country. Very, very brave auto workers decades ago sat down in their factories after other auto workers trying to strike had been beaten, killed, shot, and these workers basically created the modern labor movement that created the modern middle class. And now today we see the stand-up strike where the UAW is trying to make sure that the workers get some of the amazing profits that these companies have gotten, especially the ones that were bailed out by the US government. So the big three auto makers, Ford, GM, and the company that's the parent of Chrysler, those companies are now having growing strikes. And I wanna just connect one of the things that the UAW is demanding to all of the things we think about in trade and globalization, which is with the EV, electric vehicle future, that's gotta be part of planetary climate survival. Are those cars gonna be made with union labor? Is there gonna be a new generation of workers paid well to make the new transportation green future? That is one of the demands of the UAW, and that's directly linked to the trade situation. Because right now, a huge amount of the imports of the batteries for EVs, and increasingly, EVs being made are in China. It's using forced labor from Uyghurs in concentration camps. It's subsidized by dirty energy. So coal burning electricity is going into making this stuff so that even if it's an EV vehicle netting out against the climate disaster, it's not even going to be a winning thing. And so we need the trade rules to basically then support these brave strikers who are going to fight to make sure that cars made in the EV future are made by union workers. We need to also do the work to make sure that trade rules make sure that there's a space for EV cars that are made meeting the standards for the environment for working people that actually make for a sustainable future economically and environmentally.